Welcome back to the Packet Lab. Today we're going to take a look at another in the Cool Commands series, and today's Cool Command is going to be Show Interfaces Status. There are a handful of commands I use every day in my job, and Show Interfaces Status is one of them. It's a switch command, and what it's going to do is it's going to show you very quickly and very concisely a number of important configurations on your switch port. Most of you are probably familiar with the Show Interfaces command. Status is just an optional argument to that command. One thing to note, and we'll show this on the CLI, is that you do have to spell out status. If you put show interfaces stat, stop there, there's a show interfaces stats that will give you a different output. So you can issue this for all interfaces as we did here and it will give you a list and show you the status of all the interfaces and you'll be able to scroll through those. Or you can go ahead and specify a particular interface which is what we did with the second example here and that will give you just the uh, status for that particular port. So this is Cisco documentation and it's found under the show interfaces command and you can see there's a lot of different arguments you can tack on to the end of show interfaces to give you more precise information or in a lot of cases detail that's not shown in the generic show interfaces command. In this case we're going to just tack on status at the end and we've seen this guy a couple of times already now. Uh, one thing to note it does show that a status of unsupported in the type field and the type field is this last bit here that shows you the capability basically the media type. If you see unsupported there, that means that a non-Cisco SFP uh, module has been inserted. SFP is basically a laser for your fiber. Keep this in mind if you ever see unsupported. Here's a basic output. So you can, again, do show interfaces status and see all the interfaces, or you can specify a particular interface, which is what we did here. And here's why you're going to want to use this command. It basically gives you a bunch of information about the port that you would have to find through other commands, and it's going to give you the port ID, so that's your first bit here. Um, port ID is just going to be the port, so in this case it's gig1 slash 0 slash 1. It's going to give the port description, so if you've configured a description under the port, it's going to show up here. It's not going to show a whole lot of characters, so you're going to get a truncated version of it, but it's kind of nice to see that. Then uh, the port status. This one's really important, so you'll have uh, different statuses. You can have connected, uh, not connected, disabled, that means it's in shutdown mode, error disabled, that's an important one, that means that it's been put in error disable mode, and you'll have to shut no shut it to get it back out again the port VLAN and that's a little bit uh, misleading because it's not only just the VLAN. As you can see here you can have the VLAN ID which we have here. Uh, if it's a routed port, if it's a if it's a uh, layer 3 port, it'll say routed. You can have private VLANs. I don't think I have that configured here but it will show the VLANs with a comma between them and it'll also show if it's trunking. So if you've got a trunk here it'll show that it's a trunk. So that's really nice. You, you get a quick look at this and find out what type of port it is. You can see here this is an access port, this is a trunk, and this is a layer 3 routed port and we get that with one command. Two very important uh, pieces of sports are the uh, speed and duplex and you get both pieces of information in a very legible format in this command so you can see here that you can have full half that's the duplex auto uh, generally you're only going to see auto when it's um, not up and then if you see an A with a hyphen in front of a duplex mode uh, like A hyphen full A hyphen half that means that it's auto negotiated to that setting. The bottom one here shows duplex half. Because there's no A in front of that, that means that it's hard set at half. Same thing with the speed here. So the speed on this port is hard set to 10 half. Whereas up here, this is an auto negotiated port. Uh, it's auto negotiated to full duplex and 100 megabits. Same thing up here. You could also see a mixture of this where it could have the speed hard set to 100 where you wouldn't see that A hyphen. At the same time, still go ahead and auto negotiate the duplex. And then finally, it's going to give you the port medium type and that's going to vary by the capabilities of the port so these are all gig um, interfaces but this is really nice too because you can take a quick look and you see that this is a 10 100 gig base TX which means it's copper if this had an SFP in there it will tell you if it's a fiber port so you know what the what type of port this is so it's really nice like I said you get a lot of very important information in a concise and legible format with this single command okay so let's take a look at this in action so I have a 3750 switch here and if you do show interfaces uh, you can see there's a ton of different choices here. Um, one thing to show you that if you do stat, there's stats and status. If you do stat and you hit enter, it chooses stats rather than status, which is kind of odd because it should prompt you and say not enough information. But just so you know, you will have to at least type out S-T-A-T-U 
for this to uh, um, come back with the status. So you can see here, this is when you're looking at all the interfaces and it gives you the same information you can just scroll through. This is nice if you're looking for a brief overview and for quick stuff like what I like to do is I will do a show interfaces status and I will include in this case air disabled. So this will give me just all the air disabled ports. If I want to have just the ports that are trunks, I can do that too. So you can use your grep feature um, to just get back certain interfaces based on characteristics that you're searching for. But generally, I, I do use this with the, with the port specified though. So I've got a couple different ports set up here. So if we do a um, show int v1 slash 0 slash 1, and I don't, I'm not going to type out the whole thing here. I do type out status all the way. And you can see here, uh, this interface, there's our port ID, obviously it's gig1 slash 0 slash 1. This one has a description. A lot of times the description won't fit completely in there. You can see that you're a little character limited there, but it's good enough to give you a quick look at it. Status is connected, so that means that we're up and good. Um, this is routed, so this is a layer three um, routed port. Duplex is half, and because it's half with no A in front of it, that means that it is hard-coded to half duplex. And same thing with the speed here. It is hard-coded to 10 megabits. And here's the type of port. All these ports are gonna be the same. They're copper gig ports. And we can verify this if we do a show run in G1 slash 0 slash 1. We can see that all this information is true. We do have a description here. Uh, this is a layer three port. And we do have the duplex and speed hard set. Let's go ahead and take a look at another port here. Whoops, I'm sorry, I wanted to do this. And so this one, there's no description. Um, we can see that it's not connected. We can see that there is a VLAN assigned, so that's gonna have an access VLAN of 200. The duplex is at auto, if, and then the speed is 1000. So what's happening here is because it's, um, if there's no connection, you'll see the duplex auto it'll say auto and generally the speed will be auto too because if it was you know left at the defaults both speed and duplex are auto negotiated so in this case we know that we have hard set the speed we do have a vlan 200 assigned unfortunately it's not connected and we can go ahead and do show run and prove that out and actually this has got private vlan so i don't want to dink with it too much but you can see you can get a lot of information from this command that will tell you what the actual configuration is let's go ahead and keep going here g10 slash 3 it's got a long description and actually this description is really long. It says long descriptions are truncated or something like that. It won't show up. So you can see you are character limited here. It's connected. It's a trunk. So that's pretty cool. You get to see where your trunks are at. Uh, and it has auto negotiated to 100 full. So if we go ahead and take a look at that running configuration, we can verify all that. And here's that description. You can see long descriptions. Long descriptions run are not fully shown. That doesn't make any sense. But must have been drinking when I typed that. And we'll take a look at one more because this is actually an important variant of this. In this case, you're seeing a port that's error disabled. So this is a really nice way, like I showed you earlier, you can go through and do the show interfaces status, include error. And there is a newer command that's show interfaces error disabled. Um, so that might be available, but I've been using this for quite a while. So you can get all the error disabled trunks, and these are, um, I'm sorry, not trunks, ports, and these are ports that have had some issue that's made them shut down, and you're going to have to go in and do a shut, no shut to uh, bring this port back up again. So that's it. It's a really simple command. I use it all the time on, on switches. Obviously, it doesn't work on routers. It gives you a lot of information in a clear, concise, readable way, and it's easy to look through this and get information that you need to help you troubleshoot. So I hope you found this command to be as cool as I find it. And thanks once again for joining me in the packet lab. And as always, I hope this helps you on your route to becoming a network god.